I can't believe we've never talked about the differences between paganism and animism. It's a great question. Thanks for sending it in. with Pan Society. We are here to help modern people bring animism into the present technical world. If you would like to support our channel, you can like, share, or subscribe to our channel. We also have a Patreon page where Pan Society insiders get special perks. You can also join our private Facebook page and just mingle with our peeps who think like you and find out about our free events. All right, so let's get to your question. So my understanding of this is that all animists are pagans, but not all pagans are animists. To understand what I mean, let's do some definitions, okay? I think a lot of people think about pagans as um, being people who are not people of the book, but this actually predates Christianity. The term pagan started back in the Roman Empire days and refers to people who were not part of the majority religion. And pagan just meant country dweller. It's kind of the same thing as the term heathen, which means heath dweller. So it's like the country backward, unsophisticated people of a society who practice the not hip new spirituality. When Christianity became the prominent religion, it started to mean people who were not from the Abrahamic faith. So anybody who was not Christian, Muslim, or Jewish and didn't have the heaven and hell and the Ten Commandments type of framework. I think that's still the common understanding of the word pagan today. Now paganism is an earth-based spirituality. It's a nature-based path that particularly pays attention to the sun and the moon, the earth, the harvest, and things like that. We're all a part of nature, so as pagans we look to nature to tell us how to live when to plant, when to be still, when to let go, and when to let things die. It all follows the seasons and the wheel of the year. So these are things that pagans and animists have in common. Now there's lots of flavors of pagans and animists that have to do with the natural environment. The pagans of the cold north don't have the same ecology, animals, plants, landscape, or weather as people in the tropics. So this makes total sense, right? They don't have the same diet, season, or diseases, so they adapt to what they do have. And this is why they are different. They have different rituals and practices. We do what makes sense to who and where we are. What makes animus different is the belief that everything has a spirit. Or another way to say this is that everything is energetic and this energy is conscious. And we know this from physics, but lots of people ignore that or don't think about what that actually means. In animism, we put that into practice by acknowledging it and considering it in our day-to-day -day choices. We think about how the things that we buy impact the water, the air, our bodies, the future generations. It's in our food choices, how we use the land, how we love who we love and how we vacation, so little things. It's always about interacting with living things. The stars breathe in a way. The sun is a loving force that keeps us alive. It's about living with that awareness and when you have that awareness, everything matters. You matter, today matters. It helps you to live intentionally. For me, it helps to cultivate responsibility for being the best that I can be for myself and everything and everyone because it's just so important not to waste our time or our gifts. So really paganism and animism are very similar. The only thing that separates them is the belief that everything is alive. And pagans may feel that computers and cars are not alive. In some ways that's a little thing. In some ways it's an absolute game changer. To me everyone is animist because one is indivisible. So whether you self-identify as an animist or not, I see you as one. But of course, you're free to label yourself however you like. Thanks for the question. If you have others, just let us know. We're happy to share modern animism with you. 
And if you have a different definition, I'd love to hear that as well. Ciao, guys.